two more days till Thanksgiving. Well, we are in Ireland, so we're going to celebrate it on Saturday instead. So I have four more days and I'm trying to come up with a different type of apple pie. So I was thinking, why not making a sour cream apple pie, which is definitely one of my favorite pies. But this pie is so delicious that it will fool anyone to think it's the real deal and there will be no crumb left at the end of Thanksgiving. The first time I ever tried it was actually in St. Louis in a very nice little restaurant. I was working there as a waiter and our kitchen made this delicious sour cream apple pie. It was to die for and before my shift I always ordered a sour cream apple pie. Now that's about 20 years ago but I still haven't forgotten that delicious pie and since then I have been trying to figure out how to make or replicate this delicious pie. So here's my attempt to make this very delicious pie. And for this pie, I need actually Granny Smith apples because they have this nice puckery flavor, which gets softened out with the sour cream. And what I want to do is certainly peel them first. I like to use a potato peeler for that. I actually was thinking about buying one of those fancy automated peelers, but then I don't really make that many apple pies. So here are my peeled apples and I want to core them now. And unfortunately I don't have any of those fancy corers so I have to do it by hand. If you're not comfortable with a chef knife, please don't use one. They are very sharp. If you want to use a metal measurement spoon, that works quite well for coring. I would not use a plastic one though because I think they would break. <clears throat> I want now to slice the apples pretty thinly. And I want to measure how much my apples weigh. I want to have about 900 grams, but this weighs only 600 grams. So I need two more apples because sometimes the apples weigh differently after I peel them. I normally like to weigh my apples after I peeled and sliced them. Okay, so here are my finished apples. So I'm going to now create the sour cream filling, which I'm going to add then to my Granny Smith apples. And I want to measure about 150 grams of sugar. And I'm going to make that 50 grams of dark brown sugar, 100 grams of white sugar. I'm going to add four tablespoons of cornstarch, one cup of sour cream, or 200 grams of sour cream one egg a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt and then i'm going to whisk the ingredients together and then i'm going to coat the apples with the sour cream mixture and i'm going to set them aside now and in the meantime i'm going to start making my crumbs i'm going to use for that 70 grams of white sugar one tablespoon of cinnamon and i'm going to use 45 grams of my gluten-free flour combination i'm also going to add 80 grams of butter and i want to add 50 grams of walnuts well actually i'm lying i'm going to use 50 grams of pecans because i have them handy but you can definitely use walnuts and now I want to mash my pecans. Here are my crushed pecans and I'm going to pour them now to my crumbs. And with a fork I'm going to combine the butter and the sugar and the flour to make some crumbs. In times when the butter is too hard I actually do it with my hands. What I'm really doing is I smoosh them and then press the butter through my fingers. And see how they're a little bit too wet? So I'm going to add a little bit more pie crust flour. I'm going to use two tablespoons and you see how the crumbs are getting smaller now. So I'm going to add one more tablespoon 
That's also why I like some of my flower combinations to be pre-mixed. So these crumbs look pretty nice now. And I'm going to set them aside. So here's my chilled pie crust which I made the other day. And I'm just going to roll it out now. And here's a bit huge butter plump, which happens too. I want this crust to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to shoot for about a quarter inch. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to put a little bit of pie crust flour combo on it. Here's my pie pan. I'm going to put it on the top of the crust and flip it into my pie pan. I want the edge of the pie crust to be thicker so I'm just going to roll it over. Okay now it's a nice thick edge which is I think very nice for this type of pie. I want to crimp it a little bit I'm going to use my hand for it. I want to have a little bit of a rustic country looking crimp. So here you go. Nice and rustic looking. And I'm looking for my pie shields. I don't know where they are. So, and when in doubt, make your own pie shield. Okay, so here's my own pie shield. Now I'm going to put some of my baking paper in it and add my chickpeas or any other beans as my pie weight. And I'm going to bake my pie now at 325 degrees for 20 minutes and then I'm going to add my apples. This is my finished baked pie crust and I'm going to carefully remove now my pie weights. Before I add the filling, I'm also going to remove the pie shield and then I'm going to add my filling. Now I'm going to cover the pie again with my pie shield and I'm going to bake the pie now for another 40 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 175 degrees Celsius. I think the time is up now and I'm going to take my pie out of the oven. The last thing I have to do is now add the crumbs. For that I'm going to remove again my pie shield I'm going to add now my crumbs on the top of the pie. I'm going to try to evenly distribute them on the top of my pie. And before I put the pie back with the crumbs, I just want to make sure I cover again the edge of my pie with my pie shield, just to avoid the pie edge to over brown. And then I'm going to put the pie back into the oven for another 20 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And voila, here is my sour cream apple pie. And I love that smell of fresh apple pie. Just check out those layers. Isn't it delicious? It's definitely one of my favorite pies. I hope that was an inspiration what other types of apple pies you can make for a gluten-free Thanksgiving. And I hope you're gonna enjoy it with your friends and family. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!